Oh, here we are again now and it's like no time has passed Gazing out upon the sunset as it sinks into the night Many times it seemed as though a given day might be our last Face to face with certain death, it's somehow coming out alright I don't think that we have any cause to lament But there's quite a lot of thrilling intent Thrilling intent Thrilling intent, thrilling intent. Ashton Marcus, you, your face is touching the ground. It's, oh God, it's so gross. It's uh, sticky. Oh, free arc is, wait, uh, hold on. This is like muck. This isn't characteristic of free arc at all. This is just mud. It almost... God, it almost reminds you of a long, long time ago where you met a bunch of paladins in a different place, and oh. you woke mm -hmm. up and it was just, oh, nasty, gross. Uh, you you kind of wipe it off of your face and take a look around. The last thing you remember is coming into physical contact with, uh, with the steward, getting a kick to the head, and uh, passing out. However, this area around looks completely different. The the trees are low, squat and ugly, and on either side you see weapon racks adorned with sort of a piecemeal weaponry, occasionally a fine one sticking out. Across the what what appears to be a training ground, you hear another ring as an attack goes wide, an arrow streaks past a shadow on the far side of the far side of the little arena and hits an iron post. Another miss! Another miss! Uh, the man looks down and picks the arrow out of the post. I don't think the bow is right for you, boy. <laughs> he wanders over and takes it from you. Now, tell me what weapon is. We've tried short swords, we've tried long swords. What, what do you think? In all my years as a man at arms, I haven't seen someone, someone as so completely inept as you. Where is your value, kid? Well, you know, uh, sometimes people have special talents inside of them that they just haven't found yet. And, uh, maybe I could try the sword again. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was tapping the side of his great bearded face. Just this, this, like, this staunch, just unpleasant looking guy this is instructor simon he's a jackass you've always known he's been a jackass you were hoping for literally anyone better but no you're here with this guy he looked completely disinterested the entire time until you mentioned the the sword again he looks up yeah the sword again the sword okay sure aaron go get the sword um a uh Behind you kind of steps up, mutters to herself, wanders over, picks up a blade for you, brings it over, hands it to you with an almost like wry but sympathetic smile, and then sits down on the side of this, this, uh, container of yet more weapons. Okay, give me your best shot. Uh, this, this continues for a time. Ash and Marcus, you're free to act. Uh, uh, Ash, Mar what, is Marcus. what is happening? What is happening here? I, uh... Where are I don't we? know. We were in free arc, right? I, there was snow I, on the ground, right? I'm not crazy. Spin attack. No, and we're <laughs> and, and and now and now we're we're covered we're covered in mud too. Yeah, yeah. Did you spin wait. the other way? Attack. Did you see? The, <laughs> did you see the steward? Oh, I remember seeing the steward, and then I just kind of fell. Wait. Okay. Okay. I look wait, behind wait, wait, wait. us. Uh, towards this area. Can I see anything? Is it just mist? You get sick looking at it. Oh no. Okay. That's Oop, right. nope, back to me. Back to yep, me. Don't yep, look yep, that yep. way. Don't look that way. Okay, okay. Uh professional opinion. Give me your professional opinion. Professional opinion. Uh we have been charmed somehow or otherwise magically influenced such that we are in some sort of illusory shadow world. Okay, okay. Great, 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 great. Re okay, professional opinion uh solution. Professional solution. I, professional opinions call for professional solutions, Marcus. I don't Marcus. even know if my professional opinion is correct, Ash. <laughs> okay, look. Why is it just us two and not Gregor? Why, why, where's Gregor? 
Where's Indian? Where, where's everyone else? Can you see, see Gregor. Them? You see Gregor immediately in front of you. He's he almost seems to be in a daze. It is the Gregor you know, but there's something off about him. He's wielding a sword and doing an atrocious job with it. Pretend to mm-hmm. fall over, but actually be okay. Technique. <laughs> <laughs> did, did we hear all of the previous conversation? You absolutely did. Okay, I, I call me crazy, but I think that, I think that this illusion might be very closely related to Gregor because this looks like a Gregor that doesn't know how to fight. And I don't know about you, but I've never met a Gregor like that before. Okay, do you think it's like? Do you think it's like? Oh shit! Wait. Okay. Oh shit! Sorry, it's, Gregor. If this is your memories, I'm really sorry that we're seeing this without your permission. I think this might be his memories. <laughs> oh, I feel so embarrassed. <laughs> oh, no! 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 <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is Stupid a young Gregor, Gregor presumably training with the Outriders before tragedy struck? Okay. Right, but what's the solution? What's the professional solution Stupid for this professional idiot. opinion? Okay, so here's my thought. Uh, you see all those, all those creepy shadows around? For Gregor, you see these people's features clearly. However, for everyone else, they're indistinct, as if it's like, as if, the best way that I could describe it is, it's as if somebody had described these people to you, and you'd had an image in your brain, but didn't, it didn't quite sit right. They're in a semi-fictional space, your mind is rendering them, but slightly incorrect. Do we kill them? Do we just like I don't know. As far murder as I can his tell, memories? As far as I can tell, Gregor thinks that these are important people from his memories. Right, so that would be bad if we killed the people that were important to him in his past. Yeah, in well, his brain. I mean, I'm, I'm most concerned that if we start doing that, he's going to flip out and start attacking us. That's a good point. So also, what, we do? what, what if we what were you... the people who killed his loved ones in the past? What if this <laughs> is the actual <laughs> past? I, I, grab, yeah. I grab Marcus yeah, and shake him. Yeah, I was thinking that too. <laughs> I grab Marcus and shake him. No, we can fix this. We can be his loving parents, okay? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> listen, 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 we're going to pick him up from Outrider School and okay. take him home. Okay, all right. <laughs> Instructor, I, I figured it out. Yeah, what is it? My body is too short and useless. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree on that front. Uh, how, how dare you talk to my son like that? <laughs> how dare you talk to my son like that? The figure turns and looks at you, uh, the, the shape almost growing indistinct. It mouths a single word and then snaps back to Gregor as if you don't even exist. Mm, that's not right. Your body's too short and useless, you say. Yeah. So, we tried Excuse the bow. Excuse me. We Ex- tried the bow and it <laughs> didn't work. We tried. Okay, what you're right. What do you suggest? Uh, Gregor looks down and see he sees he already has the sword in his hand. Uh, what do you think I could try Ventus's weapon? <laughs> Ventus's weapon, really? A kid like you? Well, maybe, no. maybe if I just the looked at it. The a symbol of our order. I, I don't think you're even ready for a spear, let alone a glaive. Well, I mean, it it looks like everybody gets training in the spear. I mean, eventually I would, right? You're not going to hold me back and not let me move on because I can't master the basics, right? (laughs) (laughs) I want to try and find a spear on this, or a spear or a glaive on this. A glaive. Preferably a glaive. Um, you, uh, you hunt around and you do not, yeah, you notice, you notice spears. Everybody learns the spear. No glaives. Gregor, Gregor knows this by heart, uh, but there, you don't see a glaive here. It's, mm. yeah, no, it's conspicuously missing. Is, are any one of the shadows wielding a glaive? Uh, no. I'm gonna grab the, grab one of the spears. Okay, so this is just a normal spear, but if I give it a little bit of tweaking, uh, I, uh-huh. I snatch some shadows out of the air and weave them around such that they extend the, uh, tip of the spear, making it almost glaive-like. Oh, 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 oh. I'm like hitting Marcus as I say it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But I still don't know if this is going to work. I mean, to them, it might just look like this son of a bitch is floating through the air, you know? No, just just toss it in all dramatically, like some sort of fucking prophecy or some shit. Good idea. I throw it very badly in (laughs) Gregor's general direction. (laughs) It kind of tumbles end over end, hits the ground, wobbles up and down once once or twice, and then falls flat. The spear sticks in the ground in front of you, Gregor, and the sort of logic of the dream begins to correct itself. 
Fine, boy. We can start with the spear. We'll see what happens if you can... If you can master that, we'll see if you can work your way up to a glaive. Uh, the man draws his weapon. It's a short axe uh, and a shield on the side. Okay, come on. Prove your life was worth saving. And he moves in, and you two engage each other. Uh, Gregor, are you going to pick up the spear? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It seems perfect for my tiny ar- t- normal arm- Hmm. <laughs> I'm older than I think I should be. Well, okay. no time for that. You actually manage to immediately strike the instructor on the shoulder. He looks actually shocked, as if he never expected you to hit him. He looks suddenly furious and eyes igniting, swings his axe down and splinters your spear. Not good enough! You fall backwards. <sighs> Gosh, I'm kind of panicking a little bit here. I don't know if we're supposed to kill these things I, or not. Okay. I I step forward uh, and I I uh, obeying the dream logic. I don't try to directly intervene, but I want to like get close to Gregor and whisper, Gregor. <laughs> you can do. Oh, well, my ear tickles. <laughs> <laughs> I I Forgive move my me. hand over the, uh, the the shattered spear in an attempt to piece it back together. There is, regardless of what you do, there is no way to fix this. Oh, okay. However, you feel, you feel an almost calm traveling through the, uh, through the entire clearing, as if this dream is shifting from a fever to something a little more even, a, a soothing memory. Um, Ash, you feel the presence of somebody incredibly large behind you, almost impossibly sized, but when you take a look, normal sized man, pointy beard. He walks up and he wordlessly drops something next to Gregor. It's a long and beaten, weather-worn object with a pointed but curved end. A long pole arm that now sits in the ground in front of him. He offers the kid a simple nod. Everyone stops and salutes, and then the man walks away to observe. Was that Ventus? I, I mean, I think so. It's kind of murky, but Excuse based me, on how you Ventus? everyone... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Based on, like, you can't, your eyes don't quite get the picture of this man, but you get an overwhelming feeling of pride and comfort from him. If you had to guess, yeah, absolutely, this is probably Ventus. Gregor tries not to freak out. Everybody around you is similarly, like, frozen at what just happened. They all watch and get ready. The instructor's hand is shaking. Can you run a guidance to run? Gregor yeah, yeah, yeah. takes a deep breath. Picks up the weapon. I tackle Gregor and run a guidance <laughs> through him. <laughs> Gregor sways on his feet for an instant, but regains his balance. I want to duck in and try and hypnotize Gregor so that he knows the stance of the leaping lizard again. Oh, that's wow. fucking excellent. Yes! 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 Wow. All dunk, right. dunk him, Gregor. Dunk him, Dunk Gregor. this asshole. Dunk him. Without even understanding why or how, Gregor has mastered and invented and plagiarized this new form <laughs> <laughs> he's in the air before the dream, he knows it the dream comically warps to, to match your uh, match your new proficiency everyone watching as you leave the earth and come <laughs> slamming down on this man you hit the ground sending a shockwave through not only him but the clearing around there's stunned silence as the shadows all pop dramatically, <laughs> leaving you alone with your pals. Marcus lies on the ground like yeah, an re idiot. Realizing that the tabletop was not necessary, Marcus gets up and dusts himself off. <laughs> Gregor, everything snaps too. You suddenly feel like yourself again. You feel reinvigorated, power just coursing through your limbs. Your eyes suddenly glare at the world around you, Gregor. That sickening mist that seemed to uh, accost Marcus and Ash is nothing in front of your eyes. You can easily glance through it, and you find multiple vulnerabilities, sources with which you can cut away the dream itself. Whoa. Dang. This place is terrible looking. I, oh, you're back? So you're back? Gregor starts swatting us? at the mist. I don't think he can see us. <laughs> okay, what? I think he's just angry at the, the clouds. <laughs> you think he's angry that we tried to pose as his parents? No. You guys, I don't I jumped really hard. 
And it was all oh, my okay, own no, idea. He's back to normal. He's back to normal. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> you did great, Gregor. We that were we're so proud of you. Extremely proud. Thank you. That, gonna be prouder. that means more than I thought it would mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> Gregor, we're so proud of you. Uh, is the world melting to anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, wait, quick quick catch up. We're like stuck in a weird uh Marcus, lay the professional opinion on yeah, him. We're we're, laid, we're we're stuck in some sort of crazy illus illusory dream realm that I think the steward managed to put us into. I mm -hmm, I think we did mm -hmm. the right thing by helping mm -hmm. you kinda play. Right, we dished out some professional solutions. It. Did you just cut that mist? Oh yeah, Gregor is <laughs> like locked eyes with you and nodding while stabbing in the air and the dream is just kind of falling apart around his clave. <laughs> that seems good. So do we go that way? What? 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 Is that good? Hmm. We can't really look at it without getting sick. Okay, I'm going to try something crazy that I just thought of because I'm really good at coming up with techniques now. That, that's right. what we did. <laughs> Gregor stabs his clave in the ground and then... Runs in a circle around them. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you punch through the world around you, and it it seems like reality itself seems to rush up to meet your eyes. Your vision goes dark, and you're transported somewhere else. Meanwhile, in the real world, the creature's eyes fixate on you, Harlock. It seems surprised, uh, like shocked even. It does have a weapon in its hand, a spiked chain, but it doesn't seem to be using it. It seems completely okay with everybody on the ground. It's ire focused and confusion focused singularly on you. However, in its surprise, it doesn't seem to be attacking. You probably have a moment. Nobody with a spike chain has ever won a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that I now know that I have the most willpower of the group. And I am going to <laughs> grappling hook. Um... I know, I know where my where the things of my house is. I am going yeah. to grappling hook. Is it the west wing where the living quarters are, or is it the east wing? It's um, it is the west wing where there's like there's a dining room, basically. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I am going to go. Oh, jeez, should I go away from the terror or towards the terror? I'm going to go towards the terror. Your grappling hook arm sticks in the wall and. Pulls you over, immediately away from the creature as a great spike chain slams into the ground immediately in front of you. It turns and begins to run after you, breaking yeah. into an unsteady jog. <laughs> yes. Yeah. like you break into a sprint knowing that there are suits of armor that you could catch up to pretty easily. Um, you make it to here, and it begins to catch up. You hear it rounding the corner, but it hasn't quite made it as far yet. You spend... You spend your following turn sprinting over to this, and are you going to hide inside of it? I will hide inside of it. <laughs> oh my god. If you squidge your way into the suit of armor and hold perfectly still. You, uh, you, you punch out one of the arms so your giant arm can <laughs> and, and hope it doesn't notice. It moves past great rattling chain dragging across the ground. Very slowly... You feel its presence immediately in front of you. It stops, looks around, lashes its ca uh, lashes its freaking chain once, and then begins to move away. Oh. Okay. I uh, well, if I'm hiding because it's out of sight now, yeah. I assume. Yes. I am going to switch arms. Harlock, Harlock, you change your equipment safely inside the suit of armor. It's time to take the fight to this thing. Your eyes snap back open, and suddenly it feels cold, like, frigid, positive. Oh, you're back in free arc, it feels like, almost. And then suddenly, oh god, it's hot! It's so freaking hot! <laughs> you stare right in front of yourselves as your eyes mist over, looking at a blazing fire. Oh, okay! Oh I, I look to my left and right, see Gregor. Okay, Gregor, uh, okay, so what happened last time? Okay, this is probably Marcus's memory. So what's going to happen is we're going to find Marcus. He's going to think that this is like a past vision. Like, we're going to have to convince him or, like, help him work through his uh, traumas. Hi. Right Marcus! Here. How are you doing? <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, this wait, is wait. Uh, absolutely not my memory. You're not supposed wait, to but... wake up someone who's remembering something. Well, but that's what we did with you, sort of. We, we, we didn't wake you up. We uh, facilitated is, your waking is up. Is this your I, memory, Ash? N no, I'm 
talking with you. Wait. Like, right now. This... Wait, is this... We're talking with Ch- each other. Is this Chateau Harlow? Is this? Or did Wait, we this... all forget our own memory of this? It's not. Marcus, you do... This place does feel familiar to you, weirdly enough. Oh, okay. But I'm not stuck in, like, a memory fugue like Gregor was? No. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, okay, so do we go into the burning mill? As you wander forward, Marcus, you notice something sketched into the ground in burning lettering. Oh, uh, I wanted to see this. Oh my. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. a note that just reads, Good luck, chumps, dash Inian with a heart <laughs> next to it. <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> right. Yeah, the steward, a, a creature that's maintained some amount of intelligence, unable to capture its prey, begins to drag itself backwards, eyes full of malice. If it's unable to capture Harlock, it'll do the next best thing and inflict great suffering to those still on the ground. It <sighs> rounds the corner and sees somebody with a shit-eating grin, smiling up at it, mm-hmm. shuffling the very, very last of everyone away. A <sighs> KO'd Marcus. She grins, blows a raspberry, and hastes herself <laughs> right out the door. Oh my god. <laughs> hey everyone. Did you enjoy the episode? Well, if you did, I'll be live streaming a project that's totally similar to this cheeky, cooperative, and sort of dreamlike vibe I've been going for in TI lately. On Friday night, August 31st at 9pm EST on twitch.tv forward slash stabbiness, I'm proud to announce Windrose Everlasting, a TTRPG of surreal kindness that I've been working on for well over a year at this point. A lot of my time, effort, and experiences have been poured into the project, as well as the work of many friends from here on this channel and elsewhere. I really hope to see you there for the debut on Friday, but, like, if you can't make it, or you're viewing this video after the fact, no big deal. Um, a link to the YouTube archive will be in the description below. Uh, thank you so much for watching Thrilling Intent and supporting us in all of our nonsense. Seriously, it's been wonderful. Thanks.